That's what he says? Three things. On that, there is no answer in Likud HaMoran. <laughs> but all of, the, all of the rest, you can find the answer in Likud HaMoran. What are the three things again? I don't remember. I remember only one. Which one? The question is why a person, when he goes to sleep, he puts his hand under his head. That's a question that Rabbeinu is not answering in it in Likud HaMoran. <laughs> He's using it as a, as like a, a job. Like a no, he does have three things. It's top it's secret. Like it's, it's, it's very deep. Yeah. It's very deep. It's very deep. Only those three things, Rabbeinu is not answering. I know a person from the yeshiva that came to Rav uh, to ask him a question. Rav Shalom told him, come at 12, I'm going to learn Likutei Moran, and I'm going to answer to you then. Oh, when you open Likutei Moran, you find the answer. This is it. Today I did that, and I did. Today I asked two questions at two separate times, and, and both times it gave me exactly what I wanted to hear. Not what I wanted to hear, I'm sorry. It spoke exactly on the subject that I asked the question. That is the power of the Likud Temoran. One, one, said when one frightening open, thing is, no. sorry to cut you off, no, it's okay. is that I asked about, about a specific person, and even that person's name was in the page that I opened. Yeah. This is the way. Rabbeinu said, when you open the Likud Temoran, you can see my face. See the face of Rabbeinu in the Likut Because the Tzaddik, he, re he reveals his face, he gives his face, and like Meir Panim illuminates his face. The more you learn from him, and the more you see that he's still alive, and he's still teaching us till today. Every book that you open is on the same topic, every person you talk to, you can have a whole day, and you can talk to like, um, you can talk to 10 different people and open up five different books and it'll all be on the same exact topic. And then that night you'll need all that information to deal with something. Mm -hmm. And you see that he's, he's customizing and teaching like every single person. And not everyone in the dairy has yeah. like this thing. Yeah. Everyone who's, who's Robin composed is, or Rabbeinu has Robin it. Robin is writing on it that when a person finds his life inside of the Limud and he's learning, it means that he's learning Lashem Shamayim. Um, yeah. Well, my when whole life's in that book. That's for sure. My whole life is on in all his books. So we need to understand from it that how much our limit counts in the eyes of Hashem. That Hashem appreciates our effort. And like we read today in the, that story of Rabbi Chaim Vital, that he asked Arya Kadosh, how can it be that you praised me so much and you... you he felt like the Arya Kadosh is exaggerating. Tell him you are the one and he has so many prophecies all of his life to tell him you're so important, you're so amazing, you this and that. He said, why, why? My actions are so not correct, not so, so not right. I'm, I'm failing so many times. So the Arya Kadosh answered to him, told him, the level of the person is not depends in his actions. It depends in the generation and in the time, in the place that you're at. Mm. Means in the will, in the, the effort, in how much that you sacrifice in your Avodat Hashem. If there is a person that born clean, Born clean, pure, with no lusts, with no desires, no confusions, just happy person, healthy person. He doesn't have a huge reward on the fact that he's clean. Based on what? According to the effort, you're going to be rewarded. So, us that were so, such bad at Shuva, that are coming from such far place. And we're fighting daily with our yetzara, with our weaknesses, with our sadnesses, that we're so used to them that we thought that this is us. We think that this is us. The anger is, I'm, I'm an angry person, I'm this, I'm that, I'm a coward, I'm a chicken, I'm all of the nonsense. What's the it's not you. This is your yetzara. And you deal with it, to break it again, and to break it again, and to try again to get closer to Hashem, and you say Kirovat Elohim Litov, and you choose again to get closer to Hashem, and on that it's written, Alecha, Ki Alecha Uragnu Kol Hayom, we're dying for you Hashem, yeah exactly, we're, we're sacrificing ourselves every day, the Torah is eternal, Nitzchit, means that you can keep the Torah also today, even in days that Bet HaMikdash, you cannot find it, still you can sacrifice sacrifices, how? You give yourself. You give yourself. This is how. This is what you sacrifice. You sacrifice. Rabbi Ishmael Kohen Gadol, he asked the, 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 the angel Gabriel, why you have an altar here in, in heaven? So he told him, we're sacrificing souls of tzaddikim. Sure. Sacrificing souls of tzaddikim. So what? Can you damage a tzaddik without that he will cooperate? You cannot. So it means that tzaddikim are sacrificing themselves. Like it's rock.
Oh Hashem, Oh Hashem, I'm not charging for the ride. Mm -hmm. We made it. Oh Hashem. And you paid us. Please subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit emuna.com.